and welcome to Diary 3 of the Elf Church Winter Campaign. Today we're currently at my house, obviously it's in Studley, and we're just uh, currently packing the car, ready for a quick, possibly a 24 hour session, but at the moment we've uh, arranged it to be a day session because it's meant to be uh, uh, absolutely, the weather's meant to be absolutely terrible, we're meant to be having winds up to 40 miles per hour in a day, but we've just looked at the uh, Met Office weather forecast and it's meant to go down by 29 miles per hour as in gusts, not the uh, average wind speed, it's uh, just the gusts. So uh, if we're going to uh, see what it's like when we get there and by 3 o'clock we're going to make our decision whether we're going to do a 24 hour session or not. We've got everything ready just in case we are going to do a 24 hour session. Um, the tactics are going to be a little bit different today. Instead of using my normal critically balanced boilie baits over boilies and pellets over that bait mix that you saw me use in the last video, we're going to be fishing critically, well, Critically, I call it the critically balanced maggot ball blowback rig over a spread of maggots and uh, boily, uh, crushed boilies as well, just to get them grubbing around for longer. And yeah, I think a natural, more natural bait might uh, nick us a fish today. So um, we're going to pack uh, the rest of the stuff now and uh, see you at Half Church. Right, so as you can see, we've arrived at Half Church now. Uh, obviously, we're on the Arrow Pool. Um, all rods are out, my, well not all rods are out, sorry, uh, my rods are actually in but they were out, uh, I've had one fish on which came off and then I've had another bite which uh, was just a false occurrence, um, the, the fish might have been on and came straight off or um, it might have done me, it might have just been a line bite but it was definitely some sort of bite, it wasn't the wind because it was dead calm at the time when I got the bite. And as I said the first time, I had um, I actually had a fish on. It came off just in the middle of the lake. Um, the reason it came off is rather because the lead didn't come off the lead clip. It didn't eject, or the, the hook I'm using is too small, or the actual uh, maggot ball because I'm using we're all using um, me and Jimmy both using um, critically balanced maggot uh, ball rather blowback rigs or not. That's not rigs. So it, it could be because the maggot balls. Um, a bit too uh, big. I might have to shorten it down just so the fish can get the, so that uh, when the fish picks the bait up, uh, uh, the hook bait's not covering the hook and it goes straight in the bottom lip. That might be the reason why the fish came off. So uh, yes, as you as I just said, we're at our church. Uh, it's quite windy. We're meant to have 40 to 47 miles per hour gusts of wind today, but we've uh, pinned the bivy down. We've put um, a peg in it. We pinned everything down. Make sure nothing blows away. And at the moment it's quite good, isn't it, Jimmy? Yeah. Wind is too bad at the moment. So um, I'm gonna set I've set one rod up, I'm gonna set the second rod up, get both my rods out. I've spawned um, about I've put about two or three spawns of uh, my maggot mix which contains maggots, boily crumb, uh, a few chop boilies, a few 15 mil boilies and fish row microbes and then I'll put a, just to give it an extra boost and set off a nice uh, scent trail and uh, a nice cloud to draw the fish down. I added some um, Scopex Good Red Liquid Attraction and some uh, Glug as well just to give it a nice cloud and uh, as I said give off a scent trail. Uh, boily crumb, get them rubbing around for longer. Boilies, just in case I want to switch over to a boiler and get them used to seeing that hook bait. Uh, maggots, nice natural bait the fish are absolutely going for it for some reason today i'm getting line bite after line bite it might just be my swim and there might be a few in my swim but uh we've had advice from the bailiff which he said to move two or three swims up uh, up the lake um just before dark because apparently those are the two best swims for um night fishing and those have had the best results in the night so uh, we might move up there later if we do do a 24 hour session as i said we, we we both probably will be doing one at the moment because the wind's uh, not too bad and the bivvies are actually really stable, really sturdy. So uh, yeah, if we do a 24 hour session we will give you an update later. So all we need to do now is get all our odds out, uh, put a few more spawns out and uh, wait for another bite. Thank you. Okay, so make sure that it's like um, picking up the... Can't really see, so I get the other lot as well. Yeah. 
try and get the light on you. Filming. Yeah, yeah. Is it picking up the image? Near enough, yeah. Not excellent, but it is. Still, it's a fish. Stop it. Right, so uh, picking up the lead. I'll move across. This is the uh, rig I caught it on. Uh, a critically balanced maggot bull blowback rig. Fished over a spread of maggots, boily crumb. And stuff like that. And we've got a nice carp on, which is a couple of pounds. Not the biggest fish, so I'm just going to quickly weigh it. So it's at five pounds. Five and a, yeah, near enough. <laughs> five and a five and a quarter. Five and a quarter pound. So obviously not the biggest for this lake, but still, it's still a carp, and it's my second carp from out of church. A great gonna... start to the campaign. So let's just hold it up for you lot. Make sure you take us up front. Oh, that's perfect. It's a lovely little Al Church car. Five and a quarter. I'd say five and three quarter. Yeah. Because it was just below six, wasn't it? Bloody ice cold as anything. So let's get a picture, slip it back, and try and catch a few more. Perfect. Cracking stuff. Have oh, filmy. <laughs> Jimmy's rod. Well, uh, that's what you call uh, good fun, and I can't believe we've had one from our church, and especially in the night. Uh, no one I've come here with has had one in the night. Um, it was an absolutely sc absolute scream. I thought it was the right hand rod. Picked that up. Nothing was on and I quickly realised that it was actually my left hand rod that went off and it must have gone through my uh, right hand uh, lines so I quickly struck into that and I had a nice decent fish on of five and a quarter pound which isn't the biggest for this lay but to be honest with you, you're lucky to catch anything from here so I'm absolutely ecstatic with that I can't believe we've caught one, let alone in the night so uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to bring the rods in now because I, can't, I don't really like casting in the dark and then we're going to uh, chuck them back out there early morning and uh, see if we can't get another one. So yeah, one on and one on the net. So as you can see it's uh, morning, it's about 8 o'clock now. Uh, we did have one occurrence in the night as you'll see in the video which resulted in a five and a half pound car, uh, a nice mirror car. Uh, you should be seeing a picture now. It was, uh, quite an unusual bite it um, we had about three or four bleeps and they're absolutely roared off uh, the, the alarms are still going off now and they're definitely lying bites you can t as I keep on saying in my videos you can tell by how the bobbin lifts up if it was the wind the bobbin wouldn't even move really sometimes it moves but it doesn't move that much but what we're getting on the bobbin is a uh, two or three twitches up and then three or four twitches down so um, definitely lying bites um, so we had, that was the only occurrence we had in the night, we only had one carp at night, we had a few bleeps but they stopped at about 3 o'clock, so we got about, I got about 4 hours sleep if I'm being honest with you, 
Um, I won't show you now, but I'll try and show you when I get home the rigs that we were using. All it is is just a simple, critically balanced maggot ball uh, blowback rig. Uh, we wanted to go for a natural approach because um, one, the bailiff recommended it, and two, I know that maggot, uh, uh, the fish really do respond well to maggots in uh, the winter time here. They just like a natural bait in the winter time. But I did add some uh, boily, crushed boily, um, a few whole 50 mil boilies, uh, fishery owned pellets, and liquid attractant to the mix uh, just to get them grubbing around for longer, get them feeding on something they're used to, like the fishery owned pellets. And then I put a load of liquid attractant in to draw uh, to. Um, set off a nice scent trail, draw the fish in and also it creates a nice cloud which draws the fish down towards your hook bait and just get, it basically uh, tempts them uh, and injured and try and get some feeding basically. So there was a few fish in our swim I reckon last night um, but we haven't had anything else now. Uh, yesterday was a bit of a nightmare, I uh, hooked into a fish but lost it um, in the middle of the water, that was about uh, I would say eight pounds, nine pounds, and all that. It did fight well uh, until it came off. I think that was because rather the hook was too small, the maggot pool was too big, or the uh, I tried to get the leg to eject, but it didn't eject for some reason. So that could have been a reason. It could have used the lead to unhook itself. So uh, yeah, not a good day yesterday, but last night was absolutely amazed. I thought we were going to get anything else for this trip, but when that uh, rod wore off, I just and. I thought it was the right hand rod to start off with but uh, I uh, lifted into it, nothing was there so I, I reeled that in, then I, I, I noticed that the uh, left hand rod's bite line was on so I lifted into that and thank, uh, thank god the fish was still on, uh, played it in, it fired quite hard for a five and a half pound car but I thought it was going to come in easy and then it just absolutely roared off so um, it took about two minutes to get in, didn't take that long to get in, Jimmy helped me get it in. Um, so hope you enjoyed that bit of the video uh, so there's not more uh, not much else to say really I'll show you try and show you the rig at home uh, I've told you about the bait mix uh, the swims we we're on uh, we're in uh, currently in which the fish we had the fish in was uh, peg free from the air uh, last peg on the fishery yesterday we were about three or four pegs from the entrance uh, I was on the fourth peg Jimmy was on the fifth peg uh, the four peg was where I lost the fish, so those pegs are quite good to be fair. Um, so yeah, it's not much else to say. Uh, we're just cast into a little indentation in the rushes, just a, a nice um, obvious feature where I think the fish would be. And obviously we caught fish yesterday, there's a few fish there. I don't know where the big ones are though, so we might have to alter our uh, rig, uh, rather use a bigger maggot uh, ball, bigger um, hooks um, or we might have to go over to a boilie approach because I, I know that the bigger carp do respond well to the boilies and uh, the smaller carp respond well to the maggots so I might uh, next time I'll come use rather a topped off boilie blowback rig with the maggot rig or some sort of uh, boilie rig because the topped off boilie does work um, snowman rigs work but I've only caught a small fish on well I lost a small fish on a snowman rig once here so um, yeah, I'll just we'll just have to alter our approach and try and make our rigs more um, big fish acceptable, as I like to say. Um, so yeah, that's it really. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. We're going to be leaving in about two hours. Uh, it's about starting to pack up in two hours. Leaving at eleven o'clock, and uh, we should we might be back here next week, but I doubt it very much. So we might be back here the following week. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed the part three of the video and uh, stay tuned for part four.
Hello and welcome to part three of the the uh, our church diaries. Uh, uh, you've ruined it. Shut up. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought it was gonna go. Oh, wait, wait. Jimmy, anything else you want to say? No. Okay, it's good. All right, let's go. Kaboomy. Oh shit. Jimmy's rod. Oh, my dread.